What's up guys? Um, so today we are gonna start fiberglassing our hydrofoil that has been 3D printed. So once again, there's the foil and right here is all the fiberglassing material we will need. So this was all ordered from Clearwater Hydrofoils. I'll leave the link in the description. And the reason why I went with them is just because it was a complete kit for like 120 bucks with free shipping. So you can see right there, we have our resin, the hardener, and the fiberglass. And then this bag right there is like a powder you mix with the epoxy uh, to fill in the holes in here. So that when you re-drill through these, you have epoxy all around that so that water doesn't penetrate the plastic. And I think the idea for this is gonna be to glass, get a layer on the wing, um, probably get a layer um, from the bottom of the fuselage up on the mast and get a layer on from the mounting base. And then after I get all those layers on, then I'll go through and do the bulk of everything. I'm planning to get three layers throughout the entire thing. So stay tuned. All right, got those test pieces on. Turned out pretty good. Um, I actually ordered some black epoxy dye, but I don't think I'm gonna use it just so that it's easier to see that this is actually 3D printed. And you know, it's good to see the deformities and the mess ups, like that chip is gone out of there. And so that'll show up under the fiberglass, but this actually went on pretty good. Um, I'm surprised at how much the fiberglass conforms to the actual shape of that wing. Like it really, those fibers really move a lot. You can see I went ahead and just did this tail wing too. Um, so this is gonna take about three hours to cure. And then what I'll do, um, I'm gonna flip the whole thing over and put a piece that loops around there to this side. And then probably go ahead and do a piece all along the bottom of this. And then do the mass next, fuselage, and then hit under the wing. And we'll see where that takes us. This is gonna be a multi-day process. Um, finally got some warm weather here in Memphis, but I do have my heater in the corner running. Um, so this should stay about 70 degrees, you know, 65 to 70 degrees in here should be fine. Um, but yeah, I'm, re I'm really impressed at how, how easy that was to do. I, I was pretty nervous going into it, but I think this is gonna be pretty easy. Um, you can see this kind of right here has got a lot of angles and little cubbies in there. So a little bit of an air bubble right there, but I'm not too worried. So we'll check on that in a couple hours.
All right, guys, and that is going to be it for tonight. So I got the bottom of the wing glassed, bottom of the rear wing, connected the fuselage to this mast, and then I have the entire piece for the fuselage. Dripped a little bit, but I don't think that's going to hurt anything. All right. What's up guys, we are back and it is time to finally sand the hydrofoil. Needs a little bit of work left, but I wanna get all the rough edges off, get it sanded as best I can, and then go through and fine tune and seal up the last few bits. So here's my setup for sanding right here. I 3D printed this attachment to go onto my shop vac that's gonna fit onto this sander right there. And I got, I'm gonna hit it with, 100 grit and then finish it with uh, 220 and then on there right now is an 80 grit um, that I'll use to get the really rough edges off. So 80, 100, 120 and then you can see up here this all kind of needs to be finished around the edges right there and I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is probably mix up some epoxy with this shredded fiberglass right here um, and probably just paint it all around on the low spots. I have a lot of bubbles <clears throat> and stuff in here. You can kind of see like some air gaps around here. So those might pop and then I'll just brush over the whole thing after I sand it and then give it one good sanding. Back here is really bad. Couldn't really get that. So we're gonna do that now.